Hello everyone. So first of all, I'd like to say thank you to every single one of my subscribers. Uh, I've reached 501 today. Uh, it's been a long way to 501 and there's been a lot of videos, hundreds. Uh, and uh, I'd like to say that I'm going to continue to produce content. Um, I've started school again, so it's it's going to go down a little bit as far as uh, how many videos I produce. Um, I usually produce one a day. Uh, that's going to that's gonna lower. Um, but I will continue to put out videos. Uh, on the things that matter to me and hopefully uh, they'll matter to you too um, and, and if they don't that's fine as well but um, today I want to talk about becoming one with your strength now we all have different things that we're good at all we all have different um, uh, ways in which uh, we direct ourselves or good at directing ourselves into certain crafts or certain ways of thinking uh, certain professions and finding what your strength is is very important to becoming who you who you were always meant to be, um, who you um, have always been. Just discovering yourself, coming the full circle, and uh, all that realization bringing you back to realize that uh, it was always with you. Now, how you become your strength is channel all of your emotional energy through your strength and allow it to cut away all of the uh, the weaknesses that hold you back. Um, I have certain weaknesses. Public speaking is one of them. Um, a lot of my skills are either creative or uh, in writing uh, or in explaining things. And I have had uh, not as much success as I would have liked in uh, producing something that I can, you know, uh, go into a career, career with. Uh, strength that I producing a strength that I can uh, use in a career. Um, and I've been directing it through art and through uh, and through speaking about different topics through study. Uh, truly trying to understand the fabric of reality, trying to understand how everything works in the universe and how the different dimensions are connected. Um, and uh, I truly believe I will be able to direct my strength more effectively in the future and find something or uh, uh, a group of things I can do in order to, uh, you know, not only make a better living for myself, even though I do work uh, and I'm almost going to school right now, but also to... Um, truly find uh, the the edges of my strength and continue to push them um, now if you're if you're good at let's say if you're good at with your hands you're good at you're good at producing uh, certain materials whether it be uh, whether it be artistic or you're you're good at you know even laying down electrical lines or uh, you have a lot of skill with uh, woodcraft um, you you take whatever skill in that you realize okay what kind of skill is this and uh, how do I use it to my benefit can I push what I can do in you know uh, carpentry uh, to to its extreme and how do I do that um, your your strength is something that you should enjoy um, our everyone's true strength is something that we just naturally enjoy and uh, as a result we're also good at it um, when you direct the human brain and the human mind towards whatever you want to do. It's it, it's a real it's a real vibrant experience uh, of being human because you you fall into this you fall into this natural groove that you feel like you're born with. Um, now, even if you know you have these extreme emotions where you feel a lot of anger, where you feel a lot of sadness, where you feel a lot of uh, frustration, uh, negative emotions, you feel a lot of uh, depression. Uh, you can direct that emotional energy into whatever your strength is. Find your strength and direct all of that emotional energy, even if it's negative, and just kind of cleanse it of that negativity by putting it all into what you do. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a, something that you do as a job or a career, but something that while you're working you do on the side, like um, like metalworking or um, writing poetry or um, some some kind of skill is like you know racing something like that it doesn't have to be something that you you do as a do for a living but something that that you truly are uh, when you're not working and uh, that's that's what most people have to do because a lot of us can't direct our skill into a career where we make enough money to to get by but we can um, direct the parts of ourselves that are the time available to us uh, beyond our job into truly uh, uh, kind of specifying our strength, uh, developing it, and becoming better at it. And uh, when, we, when we look within, uh, we should always have one eye within and one eye without. We should always be able to observe the external world, but also observe our internal world, our reactions to it, and how, and how we can best um, uh, move through the external world, whether it be in society, whether it be through our spirituality or religion, whether it be uh, in politics, um, we always have, we always have, we should always have an eye, um, ex 
external and looking at the world around us and one that's looking at ourselves in relation to it. And when these two things come together, uh, we can reach a symbiosis that is uh, highly beneficial to every single human being. Everyone can reach that. Uh, we don't all have the opportunity to reach that. Sometimes um, either our, you know, our circumstances, we don't have enough money or we're, we're just born into a community that doesn't appreciate it. Um, there, there are struggles and to get, to getting to the point where we can direct um, our efforts, uh, at least uh, part of our efforts, into our strength and developing that, um, that's where we should, you know, get to that, that stepping stone before we take the next step and develop who we, you know, truly are, what our strength truly is, even if it's weightlifting, if you're just, you know, if, even if you're physically strong um, and, you know, that doesn't, that doesn't produce the kind of money that, uh, that you would like it to, um, then you can use your free time to basically learn as much as, as you need to know about bodybuilding or powerlifting and, um, and I've been practicing that in the, in the gym or, or, you know, even in your house, if you have a gym in your garage or something like that and to develop that strength and that whatever strength that you have with this drawing, for instance, and you, you can't make money off that originally, then you produce a skill with that, um, in your free time. Um, you develop, you develop your relation to your strength and then you develop your strengths relation to the external world and maybe you can make money off of it or maybe that you, maybe you can just be recognized for it or maybe just expressing yourself through it and not having you know people recognize you for it is is what you want but you have to figure out what you want what your strength is and um, how it can relate to the external world and how the external world uh, will accept your strength and maybe try to spin it in that light um, but Whatever you end up realizing about your strength and your relationship or its relationship to the external world, um, we're always kind of in this in-between point where we're trying to make our internal and external worlds meet. And once we finally realize a way to, uh, you know, kind of push them closer and closer together, it takes a lot of time to push these worlds together, uh, we can feel like we are ourselves in the world. And then that, that's really the, the goal of uh, capitalizing on your strength, but not even capitalizing on it in the, in the money sense, but the, that's definitely a, a great direction to go. But capitalizing on a spiritual sense, you'll feel like you are yourself once you allow who you are internally and externally to meet. Um, wherever you find that crossroads at, uh, wherever you find your specific, you know, individuality and, and spirituality and, uh, and, uh, mental uh, capacity um, kind of intersect with uh, everyone else's um, you can being you is is the goal um, I would I would also recommend that you don't lose hope whatever your strength is or whatever you enjoy which is honestly the same thing as far as I'm concerned uh, most of the time um, don't stop taking steps just because other people don't believe in you or just because you don't believe in yourself or you don't think it's going anywhere. Never stop trying to be you. Never stop trying to make the internal and external worlds meet to where you can just be you all the time. And, um, you know, even if you reach a point where you're like, okay, I can never make money off of this, I'm still going to, I'm still going to further my strength. And then that internal and external world can still meet in your satisfaction of self. Uh, anyway, this has been a bit of a rant on um, becoming one with your strength. I hope that it's been a little bit inform informative. If you liked it at all, hit that thumbs up down there. If uh, you want to comment, if you want to agree, agree, disagree, or just say something else, feel free to shoot it down in the comment section below. And uh, I look forward to um, talking to you more in the future. And uh, thank you once again to all my 501 subscribers. And um, maybe that number can build. Maybe we can become more of a community and, can, and communicate more often um, than is currently happening right now, but uh, thank you very much and I hope to see you all in the future.